Welcome, and thank you for joining our webinar today focused on AMEG's new Symmetry Mobile platform. My name is Jason Schimpf, and I will be your host today. Uh, first and foremost, on behalf of everyone at AMEG, we hope that you, your family and friends, and your coworkers are healthy and safe. We have a lot of great things going on, to, going on at AMEG, and these webinars provide important corporate updates to drive awareness of AMEG's new products and features, share best practices, and dive into unique product features that will help you differentiate your company from others when you team up with us. If you have any questions today, please type them in the question box and we'll address as many as we can during this WebEx. And any of the ones that we don't get to, we'll follow up with you shortly after this webinar today. Today's presenters are Jonathan Moore, Product Director, uh, who will be introducing to you to our newest open product, Symmetry Mobile. And then bringing us home today is everyone's favorite Wisconsinite, Kim Rayfeld, who will enlighten you with the wonders of AMEG's new YouTube channel. Over the past five years, AMEG's grown beyond access control to transform ourselves into a total solution provider focusing on reducing costs, mitigating risk, and in increasing compliance with external regulation. In our previous webinars, we briefly introduced what AMEG is doing in different areas of all of our business beyond access control to help our channel and end users solve problems and become an end-to-end -end solution provider with a robust ecosystem of best-of-breed technology partners. Some of you may notice that we've added a ninth product to this wheel, analytics. That product release and a few other important topics were covered in our ISC webinar series, and Kim will discuss we can go and watch those in her segment. Uh, and again, just a reminder, if there's any questions, please type them in the question box. Without further ado, let's turn it over to Jonathan Moore. Thank you, Jason, and uh, good afternoon from the East Coast, everybody. Uh, as Jason said, I'm Jonathan Moore. I'm Director of Product Management here at AMAG Technology, and uh, I will be reviewing our, one of our newest products, which is Symmetry Mobile. Uh, Symmetry Mobile is a, a, a brand new product. This is you know, the first public uh, demonstration or webinar that we're doing on the product itself. Uh, it, it actually isn't officially out in the market just yet, but it, it will be released uh, officially very soon. In terms of status, uh, the product is ready to show. We, we, you know, our application engineers and sales team are able to do demos and things like that of the product today. Uh, we're just nearing the actual release of the product itself. So, so let's get started and, and have a look at Symmetry Mobile. Uh, Obviously, uh, as the name suggests, this is AMAG's newest uh, mobile application system that, that we're releasing into the market. And I'm gonna go into some detail on what that looks like. But I also want to just touch on the why, why we've released this product at this time and, and our evolution from where we've been, where we've come from, to where we are today with this, with this new product. And uh, for those of you uh, that, that are familiar with our Symmetry Blue readers that we've had it for, for some time now, uh, when we released our range initially of the Symmetry Blue readers, they were obviously Bluetooth-capable readers, amongst other things, uh, we had to release a mobile app at the same time into the market. And uh, we released uh, a, a simple, easy-to-use mobile app uh, that was free for download from the relevant app store at the time. Um, very simple, very easy for, for users to adopt it. It's a free credential, free mobile credential that came out with, with the Blue Readers. And, and those were great. Uh, and, and that is still available today. We, we have no plans to remove that at this time, just to be clear. But, but the mobile app itself had, had some limitations that I want to talk about. Uh, one of the, the biggest problems with the, uh, the initial you know, free app that we have is that there's no central control over that. Right? There's no central system that allows you to fully control uh, who has the mobile app, what types of devices are supported, what sort of read range do we want, an easy way to understand right now who has an active mobile app on, on their system. Uh, there was also the, the requirement that that mobile app has to be centrally enrolled. Right? I can download the app from the app store, but I have to come into the badge office, I have to see somebody in security in order to actually get that enrolled into the access control system. And we made some strides in the right direction uh, from there uh, in our latest version of software, which is uh, Symmetry version 9 uh, of the access control software. We, we allowed you to actually encode uh, numbers, a, a unique card number, onto the original mobile app. 
but you still had to come into the central office. There's still very little central control over who has the mobile credentials assigned and enrolled to them and, and knowledge thereof. So there was still a lot of, of, of issues and limitations, shall we say, with the original mobile app. Now, what we're releasing is really a, a mobile credential management platform, right? So, so this is an independent application. It's fully independent uh, aside from the Symmetry Access Control solution, although it does integrate tightly into that system. But this is an independent web-based platform that allows you to manage everybody that has a mobile credential within your organization. It allows you to issue credentials out to remote workers, to remote employees, without requiring them to come in centrally. And it also allows you to have full control over all the technical aspects of the, the mobile uh, application itself. What sort of read range do you want uh, these mobile devices to have? Different mobile devices might uh, work with different default read ranges. So, so how do we align those across the entire organization rather than each person trying to control those settings themselves, right? Uh, so the, the new Symmetry mobile platform has a lot more technical control and a lot more central control over who gets what and who's issued what sort of mobile credential. So let's jump to the next slide and let's look in detail at, at uh, what Symmetry mobile has to offer. So the new platform consists of, of two uh, uh, pieces of software, essentially. So we have the new uh, mobile admin portal which is a web-based portal where you will manage your users, right? You will manage who gets a mobile credential within the admin portal. Now, the admin portal will integrate with Symmetry Access Control and is capable of integrating with, with virtually any other, you know, be it, be it an access control system or another type of system as well. It's going to have the, the APIs and capabilities for integrations with those systems. So it doesn't have to be tied purely to the symmetry access control system. As Jason said right in the beginning, is this is AMAG's new open uh, mobile platform offering that we have. And, and it truly is designed to be, a, a you know, obviously it works with the symmetry blue reader, but it can tie into any different system. It doesn't have to be the symmetry access control system. Uh, the admin web portal will be offered in two ways by AMAG. Uh, we're going to offer it as a hosted solution, so you don't, you know, no installation of software locally. But for those that prefer an on-premise solution, it'll be available uh, in that flavor as well. And like I said, the admin portal is where all the uh, configuration and control and, and issuance uh, will, will be handled. And then the second part uh, to this whole thing is the mobile app itself. So obviously, this is going to be. Uh, compatible with iOS, you know, Apple uh, systems and Android mobile apps um, and will be downloadable from, from those app stores. And uh, what's interesting about the mobile app is it's not just a single credential within, within the app. It's actually providing what's called a digital wallet that would allow a person to have multiple credentials should they need them. And as you can see by the screenshot, uh, we're providing almost a virtual uh, badge template at the same time. So obviously, one of the benefits of physical credentials is you can print a badge template. You know, you can print the person's image and name and company and 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 you know corporate logo and things like that onto their physical badge to identify them. So we've gone with the same sort of concept here with Symmetry Mobile, where the mobile app would actually allow each person to have a visual. Uh, virtual badge uh, on their mobile device that they could show to a security officer or somebody else uh, where they prompted uh, so, so that it can be visually verified from that aspect as well. And then once again, the, the digital wallet allows somebody to have multiple credentials associated with them. So if there was somebody that was working across multiple access control systems or, or, or systems were partitioned for whatever reason, they could have multiple credentials uh, within that mobile app is, uh, itself. So, so the app itself provides a lot more functionality than a traditional mobile app might provide. So let's jump to uh, the, the next slide and, and start looking at some of the functionality uh, within uh, Symmetry Mobile. So, so what's important here 
is we're releasing far more than just a, a mobile credential on a phone. This is a workflow management system. And I want to make sure that everybody understands the, the various workflows that are going to be supported and, and how this might look. So right in the beginning, I said that, that one of the benefits of this is, is remote issuance of credentials that users no longer need to come into a central office to enroll their mobile credential. We can do that centrally and, and users can load that onto their device. So, so how this is intended to work, let's walk through how adding a new user is supposed to look within the system. So it starts off, the recommended way would be integration with Symmetry Access Control or, or any other system, like, like I said before, this is open, although uh, first release is going to be uh, obviously integration supported with Symmetry Access Control to start with. Other integrations are obviously, um, uh, will be supported in the future. Um, how this would work is a card holder, a user could be added into Symmetry Access Control and then automatically imported by the integration into Symmetry Mobile. So you don't have to manually add the person in Symmetry Mobile itself. It is possible to add people manually. You can use this as a standalone system if for whatever reason you chose not to have integration with a local system or it wasn't possible for whatever reason. You can actually just add the people mo uh, manually. And there's also a spreadsheet upload option. But the intention here is that you'd be tied into the access control system and a person is added in that access control system and is imported automatically into Symmetry Mobile. At that stage, Symmetry Mobile is going to automatically send that user an email. Obviously, we're going to need to have their email address, so we're going to have to capture that information. But if Jonathan Moore is added uh, uh, in the access control system, my information is pulled into Symmetry Mobile, and Symmetry Mobile sends me an email automatically and gives me instructions on you know, you've been enrolled uh, with a mobile credential, here's how you download the mobile app, go to the relevant app store, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so I would follow those instructions. And then once I have the app downloaded on my phone, there's a QR code that comes with the email. So all I would need to do is scan that QR code to load the credential into Symmetry Mobile. So via the QR code itself, I, I can actually load that credential with no need for me to go to the badging office or go and find anybody, I can just do that automatically. So you can see the automation that is provided. We're not just providing a mobile app here, we're, we're providing a way of issuing credentials uh, from a central location automatically via email using QR codes and, and, and modern technology, right? The whole idea of a mobile app is, is, is really that, that you're remote, that you're mobile, right? So uh, I think we can see from this workflow the, the attempt at automation that, that we're looking for here, uh, and, and both of remote issuance of cred credentials, but also integration into that authoritative data source, the access control system, right? So whoever's in there can now be pushed into Symmetry Mobile and, and, and given a credential without manual entry, right? Uh, automation to the greatest extent possible. So that's the core of the solution is um, is issuance uh, of the credentials. This is, you know, a central workflow. Let's jump to the next slide, and I, I want to touch on some of the other features that we haven't really talked about. So I'd said before that um, the the mobile app has um, the ability to store mul multiple credentials. It has the ability to have a, a, a visual badge template uh, within the app. So I can be, you know, visually identified that, that I'm the same person. I didn't just steal somebody else's phone or something like that. Um, so, so it has those features. It also has more than that in that it allows users to capture their own photos. So we could, and, and we are actually piloting this with the large financial institution that, that is interested in doing this, is we could um, uh, essentially allow the employee base, the, the greater user base, to capture a selfie using their mobile device or even just upload a photo by the mobile device if they've had a professional photo taken or something like that. It doesn't have to be a, a selfie, but via the app, they can capture a photo, whichever that may be. That photo then goes back to Symmetry Mobile through an approval process where an administrator within the mobile app can actually go and review that picture and approve um, of that photo. And then once the photo is approved, the, uh, the credential at the local user side could be activated. 
So, so there can be, even be controls in place to where if I don't have a photo, if I haven't uploaded a photo yet, my credential doesn't work, right? We can have configuration options like that sort of thing. It doesn't have to be uh, such, but if we wanted to control it that everybody has a photo in the system, we can insist on that before their credential is activated. And once the approval goes through, the photo is activated automatically and, and their credential is good to go at that point. The photo could also go back to Symmetry Access Control System or the other upstream systems as well. So now we're giving you the option to, to capture photos remotely and have them brought back into the access control system. Once again, uh, you know, people don't have to come into the badging office the sort of old fashioned way and, and capture a photo that way, you know, uh, in the badging office. They can send this one remotely. Why? Because it's 2020 and we should be doing this sort of thing. So um, uh, that's the second workflow that I really wanted to talk about um, when, it, when it comes to the mobile app. So, uh, let's jump to the next slide and, and talk a little bit more about, you know, how the credential itself works and, and use of the credential. So, um, at the end of the day, this is a, a, a mobile app that is used, uh, you know, communicates by Bluetooth, uh, low power Bluetooth with the Symmetry Blue range of readers to authenticate a user and, and open a door. So, uh, at, the, at the very start of this, it needs to be easy to use and it needs to be fast. And our older uh, mobile app is, is uh, a little bit on the slow side when it comes to reading. One of the uh, most important things that we looked at here was that this has to be fast. And I'm very happy to say that the, the, the read speed here is uh, 1.2 seconds or under uh, in terms of, of presenting an unlocked credential to the reader, having it process it and, and open the door. It's about 1.2 seconds which is, uh, from what I've been told, uh, down to now a limitation of Bluetooth itself in, in that there really is no way to make it faster. That is the, the sort of top speed of the, the technology itself. So I'm happy to say we're adding no latency really to, to the Bluetooth technology. It's really fast, it's simple, it's easy to use, uh, as you can see from the image there. So on top of that, we also, beyond you know, fast and easy to use, we want it to be secure, right? So um, that's obviously really, really important too. Uh, in terms of security, the app itself has uh, two-factor authentication. Once again, it's, it's configurable. You don't have to use it this way. Uh, we can also set timeout times for, you know, if I unlock the credential, um, it could uh, stay unlocked for X number of minutes and things like that as well. So there's various configuration options. But we're not talking, to be clear, I'm not talking about how you unlock your iPhone or something like that. I'm saying, this is unlocking the app itself. Once that the phone is unlocked, there's an, an unlock within the mobile app that uh, can use biometrics like face. Uh, and it can also use a, a unique pin code and things like that as well. So we can have multi-factor authentication that's going on with the mobile app here um, at the door. And, and you can do that without a user having to touch the keypad on, on the reader. So in today's day and age, think about it, is the users authenticating the mobile app themselves on their mobile device, they don't have to touch the reader to, to enter their pin code or, or, or authenticate. So we get that additional security while now also uh, maintaining a sort of hygienic practice, shall we say, um, uh, which I think is important to everybody uh, considering the, the, the current times. Um, so uh, in terms of, of easy to use, um, I, I think we've covered it, and, and obviously highly secure as well, allowing multi-factor authentication, including biometric, like facial recognition, using the, the, the phone to unlock. Let's talk about some of the other technical uh, features that we can now control centrally. So in the past, with the older app, um, you know, you could adjust read ranges and things like that, but everybody had to do that on their own app and kind of choose their own settings for whatever settings were available. So there was no central control over how that should work. Uh, and, and from time to time, there might even need to be programming of the readers themselves that, that might have to uh, occur too, which is just time consuming and very, very inefficient. So what I'm really happy to, to talk about today is with Symmetry Mobile, with the central admin portal that I've been talking about, you can now set read ranges by device type. Or operating system. So I can say all, you know, Apple iPhone 10s on this operating system are going to work at this read range versus an Android, you know, Samsung device, for example, is going to work on a different read range because they might work differently to start with. So to, to align them, we might have to have different device types at different, you know, settings and things like that. And you will be able to configure that 
centrally, and then those devices will simply work that way. From a security aspect as well, we can also block certain types of devices from being used, which I think is, is very important too, where we could say, you know, if a certain manufacturer, you know, maybe a, 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 for a government implementation or something like that has been blocked and is not allowed to be uh, utilized, we can shut down that type of mobile device from being used. It won't be accepted as an option for Symmetry Mobile if you choose to configure it that way. We can also, you know, our, our uh, uh, AMAG has corporate policies where we're issued certain mobile phones and um, so if you're, let's say you're issued Android phones uh, by your, your uh, organization, maybe you want to stop all Apple phones from, from working, right? You, you can only use Symmetry Mobile on your corporately issued device. In that case, you could stop other types of devices from working altogether. So this can all be done centrally through the admin portal. And there's a ton of other technical settings where the, the uh, apps can be shut down automatically if they don't call home often enough, and we can shut down different devices for various reasons. So a lot of central control that I just don't have the time to get into today, but I, I think you can see that this is truly you know, easy to use and secure, and it's a really good balance with a lot of central control from that admin portal. So let's jump to the last slide. Um, I want to touch on one more very unique and, and useful feature within this mobile app. You'll see that it's far more than just a Bluetooth credential. It is that and a very good one of those, but it provides other uh, workflows and, and feature sets that I wanted to touch on. And the last one is uh, actual bit verification of the badge by a security officer. So I'd shown you have the badge template, which uh, allows you to visually identify that it's me, right? Could be, you know, I show my phone, it's got my photo and name and, and everything like that. But what if I faked that, right? What if I just took a photo of that or something, you know, took a screenshot or I'm, I'm, I'm kind of clever and I, I showed that sort of thing. When you touch the badge template on the mobile app, it flips the badge over um, uh, within the app. And on the back of the badge, as you see in the image, you'll see a barcode. And security officers using the same Symmetry mobile app, authorized security officers, will be able to come and verify your badge. They'll scan it using their own mobile device, as you see in the image. So the, the person in the background is, is presenting their, their barcode, and the, the person in the foreground is using the mobile app to scan the barcode and authenticate that person. So I can see, oh yes, you, you know, this is an authentic badge, but it's actually deactivated, or you were here last week and it's, it's no longer active or something like that, or, or it's just fake and it, it's not real. And um, the security officer can now verify, they can scan my badge and, and authenticate, I am who I say I am, right? So we're adding that additional level of, of security. So just to wrap up, you know, Symmetry Mobile will be available very, very soon, hosted or on-premise, comes with the admin portal that will integrate with Symmetry Access Control, and it provides all, all the features that, that we've been talking about, including central issuance of the badge and full control over that mobile app, and then visual identification along with scanning of a barcode to authenticate that user at the same time. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed the presentation. If there are any questions, we'll be uh, happy to answer them uh, at the end, and I will turn it over to Kim. Thanks, Jonathan, that was great. So during these extraordinary times, we have all had to adapt and change how we work. Many of us are working from home and relying on video conferencing and webinars to interact and perform our job remotely. Here at AMAG, we stand by ready to help you with your security needs. Next slide, please. The AMAG YouTube channel offers several helpful resources as you consider changes that may be necessary to your integrated security system as we deal with COVID-19. You will find several helpful videos, webinars, and playlists that you can watch and learn about and receive training on our products and solutions. If you're new to AMAG, this is a great place to familiarize yourself quickly with the Symmetry solution set and receive some free entry-level training. I invite you to check out the symmetry training, the symmetry training section on our YouTube page. After ISC West was postponed last month, we hosted a webinar series that highlighted new AMAG solutions. If you missed it, please check it out. They include our brand new symmetry business intelligence solution. The webinar series includes five short 30-minute webinars that you can find on our ISC West 2020 webinar playlist. In addition to Symmetry Business Intelligence, 
we hosted webinars on Symmetry Access Control version 9. And together with our technology partners, we hosted webinars on the Symmetry Blue Bluetooth Reader, Symmetry Complete View 5.1 Video Management System, and our Symmetry Audio Solution. You will also find several videos about Symmetry Connect Identity Management, Symmetry Guest Visitor Management, and our new Symmetry Movement Impact Tool. I invite you to visit our page and subscribe at youtube.com forward slash symmetry resources. I hope everyone is staying safe during this unprecedented time. Thank you for watching, and I'm turning it back over to Jason, who will go over your questions now. Excellent. Thanks, Kim. I appreciate that. We have a, a bunch of great questions that came in. Uh, we're going to answer a few of them here, and then we will follow up with everybody independently uh, for the questions that we didn't get to. Uh, so, Jonathan, are you still with us? You ready to answer a few of these? Sure, sure, yeah. Excellent. I'm going to combine a few of them that have a similar theme to them. So, in regards to the mobile app, uh, the mobile credentialing and the mobile app and everything, uh, is it compatible with uh, which versions of the access control software is it compatible with, 7, 8, 9, and which controllers is it compatible with? So the uh, Symmetry Mobile obviously inter integrates with the Symmetry Blue range of readers. So I can tell you that, that those readers um, will need a certain version of firmware. There's no hardware difference or anything like that. But the, the readers themselves, if you have existing Blue readers, they will need um, a, a fairly recent version of firmware. I'm, I'm not going to go into too much detail there. Uh, as far as the integration itself, uh, is, is concerned. Obviously, the latest version of Symmetry will be supported, and I think it is likely, I, I still need to check, it, it's not finalized, but I, I think the, the previous version is supported too, version 8. Um, so I think 8.1 up, up through V9 will be supported in terms of Symmetry integration. Excellent. Um, where are the credentials hosted, on-prem or in the cloud? So um, we can support both models. So if we're talking about the app itself, the app is available on you know, the normal app stores for mobile devices. But if a customer had something internal, we, we can work with those as well. Um, so you know, if, if they had a, a local app issuance download, that sort of thing, we, we could do that. Um, the admin portal will be offered on-premise and hosted by AMAG. So if it's hosted by us, the, um, the mobile admin portal will be up in our Microsoft Azure cloud. Um, you know, we have all the, the data center compliance stuff done and, you know, for our other hosted products so it'd be along the same line as those, or it could be on premise where it, you know, then the, the identity information is stored locally on your own servers at that point. So there, I have a feeling there might be some more detailed follow-up questions there. I'm happy to, to engage with anybody. I can provide written responses on all of this as well. Yeah, we do, we do have a bunch of questions here, which are all great. Let's just take one more question, Jonathan, and then, as you just offered, we'll address all of these in writing, and we'll send it out to everybody that's on the call. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so if you're looking through those, Jonathan, was there any, any specific one you wanted to answer real quick? So um, the, there, there were two. There was one about the photo going back to, um, you know, can the photo uh, – if you already have a photo from the access control system, can that be used with Symmetry Mobile? Absolutely. We, the photos can go in both directions. So if you had a photo already for somebody in Symmetry access control, that photo could go through down to Symmetry Mobile and be issued to that person, and then they wouldn't be required to capture a photo. So, so yes, we're flexible on, on the photos. The other question that I've seen was, can you use the same credential number uh, that they already are issued for mobile and physical? So can they have one physical credential issued to them that's also the same number as their mobile? And the answer is yes, but we can do it both ways. So we could force you to have two credentials, one's a mobile, one's a physical, or you can just have one physical credential that is also, that's the same number that's used for mobile. So we're trying to offer it sort of both ways there to see, you know, however you prefer it, it, it can be implemented that way. Fantastic, thank you, Jonathan, I appreciate that. And I still see there are more questions coming in, please. Uh, when we're done with this, Greg, if you could leave this webinar open for an extra five minutes just so people can type in any last-minute questions so we can capture them all, and we'll follow up with them. Uh, by the end of the day today, we'll send out an email to everybody. So uh, I, first, I want to thank you to Jonathan and Ken for co-hosting today. That was fantastic. 
Jonathan, looking forward to seeing the answer to the questions by the end of the day that will get emailed out to everybody. Um, and as always, this full webinar and all previous versions are hosted both on our e-learning system and our new YouTube channel. Uh, some of the older um, webinars haven't made it to YouTube yet, but they'll be there soon. Uh, as soon as this webinar is finished, a short survey is gonna pop up in your browser. It's only a few questions. Uh, please take a moment, fill that out. We're always looking to deliver the best in industry information and just this quick uh, survey will help us make sure that we're staying on that track and, and achieving our goal. Again, thank you for joining. Please stay safe, please stay healthy, and please join us for our next webinar May 19th, same time at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Thanks and have a great afternoon.